Oh, he's just playing low. He's in his head. He's in his head. He's, he's in open. His head. He's wide open. Cracked open in the face. Okay, and we'll go with number 10. Just as people have hearts, so do worlds. The same can be said of the stars in the night sky. And deep within each world lies a door to its heart. The heartless desire those hearts. Makes sense. Born out of the darkness in people's hearts, they seek to return to a greater heart. A bit strange. Yes, that's it. The heartless come from people's hearts, as does the darkness pretty good uh, conclusion there, kind of sewing all things together in all the reports. Is the core of the world's heart the world of the heartless? I will pursue the answer there and become all-knowing. So it kind of goes a little bit insane here. My path is set. My path is set. I shall seek out the wielder of the Keyblade and the princesses. So wielder of the Keyblade and what he means by the princesses is the princess of heart at this point. My body is too frail for such a journey but I must do this. I will cast it off and plunge into the depths of darkness. So this is where basically Ansem turns around and uh, kind of falls off the deep end. Kind of looks at it and says yes I need the kit and the wielder of the Keyblade. I need the princess of heart. I need to go to the world of the heartless and study more and curiosity sake and I'm gonna cast off my body which you kind of see kind of you know the altercations from the rest of the series with that in terms of things like leaving your body behind or must have a body in terms of uh, things like time travel in this in this series uh, you know casting off your body to uh, plunge into the depths of darkness and like the world of the heartless you know we kind of see that with heartless and nobodies and all that type of stuff so we've kind of seen that we've got all the chronicles here so yeah so we've got the so Cerberus he yeah, was defeated, he hosted the Hades Cup to deal with Sora pers personally, and then Hades is defeated. So we got all the stories and a happy ending, that's really nice. But yeah, it basically just talks about our adventure in each of the different worlds. And uh, it doesn't write any more than that in the story part because, you know, basically this is acting as if it's before the uh, final boss has actually happened. And the reason why the Ants reports are not hit with the uh, Mickey's logo is that apparently there's more. So we need to beat Sephiroth, the Ice Titan, and I think a few other uh, super bosses to get Ants reports. Because I think Ants reports 1 through to 10. I think we're all in the original versions of the game. So the Japanese original release, the international version, and then Final Mix as well. Final Mix, I think, added a few more answer reports into it. I think there's 13 or 14 of them. Uh, I forget which number. I'm thinking it's 13 because, you know, Nomura likes the number 13, but uh, I can't exactly remember if it's 13 or more than that. But yeah, so we're equipped with Lionheart. Um, really, really cool Keyblade. 
Probably actually one of the best design Keyblades in the game. Because I like, like, the, the lion's head. Uh, did I use... Yes, I did use Mega Ether. So i got to put one of those back in. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that, but... Yeah, anyway, let's uh, save. I got Blizzago, can I take these things out now? No, okay. So it's not this game. Because I thought you could take all that out all the all the torches, but uh, apparently not. Uh, so, got some secret bosses we need to take on. Steve Jungle, because I actually do want to show her off. Um, a particular heartless in this, uh, in this place. So we want to go to camp. Jane's back. No, I don't really want to battle you guys. We have this thing. Not that one. That's no, the one at the end. See if I can take it out. No, other side. No, one on the other side. No chance there. Yeah. But I got a lightning stone out of it, so that's really cool. Uh, that's a new synthesis item that we didn't have before. Uh, is that in our journal now? That we've uh, kind of went against it. Yes, it has. So, that is the Black Ballade? Ballad? Tank, and there's something like that probably is this one, but I haven't defeated it, so I can't, you know, can't show that one off. Yeah, we can kind of, I can't remember if it's only just one lightning stone, it might be one. We'll go back to Travis Town and see if we can go to the Simple Shop and make something. Because, yeah, that, 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 there's a few different Heartless and in this, like, the Final Mix exclusive Heartless that are like this with the exclusive synthesis items. And it's really annoying. And I forget, because <clears throat> the list is kind of different. The 
between uh, this game and like something like uh, the original, like the international release. I got Major Guy Bangle. Okay, so I can mix that. Kind of made something else. Let's go to Agrabah, because that's uh, our next uh, super boss location. So we want to go to Aladdin's house. Yeah. Of course, we'd seen earlier that magic carpet was going off his nut. But yeah, this is Kurt Zisa. So, for those of you that don't know about Kingdom Hearts or Kingdom Hearts uh, trivia, uh, this boss is actually is actually is is named after an actual person because uh, there was a contest for a, a heart loss design or something like that, or a contest to win uh, a version of the game, and. Um, For those, for that person that won, they actually got their name into the game. So Kurt Zisa was made as a super boss uh, in Akbar. And he has a protective orb around him now, so we can't really attack him. But yeah, so this uh, this uh, magic orb, we can't actually uh, attack via physical damage. We have to use magic. I'm going to use Tinkerbell. Just that way we have a auto life as well as second chance. Thanks, Goofy. Appreciate it, man. But yeah, this battle could go on for a while. Though I think I might actually get close to beating this one. Unlike a lot of the other ones. Thanks, Donald. And yeah, break the shield. So that was a full magic. Uh... Go, guys. Let's go. I'm getting a lot of experience with those tech hits, too. Thanks, Dick. Thanks, Goofy, for the MP gift. Love that ability. That MP gift's probably like one of the best abilities for Goofy as a support character because goddamn does this do work. Especially if you're going really hasty with a lot of magic. Especially later on in the game. Because uh Alright. Guys, get the health force when they're out. Oh, thanks, me. That's right, I can't use magic. So yeah, so I'm hit with that. Uh... Oh, that elixir came in handy. Holy shit. <laughs> 
So I thought I used it on Goofy, but Goofy must have just got taken out just before I used it. Just after I used the elixir. Yeah, so he goes into uh, spinning around now. Spondaga in this battle a lot more than a lot of the other magics because it's long range. Like, it does have a particular range on it, but uh, it's not as bad as. Oh, okay, now I've got the orbs coming for me too. So, yeah, so this is one of the last attacks now. Is that orbs start coming out of the ground? Thank you, Goofy! Thank you, Goofy! And there we go, Kurt's Lisa is done. I thought I could do that one. This is actually the first super boss I actually uh, encountered. And uh, the reason for that is, for some reason, this and one of the other super, like the Einstein, Sephiroth, uh, this and one of the other super bosses in the game, is actually available in the international version because uh, Sephiroth, and I think Kurt Zisa, I'm not sure about it. The Ice Titan and, uh, and we learn Sans. Sans Zukan? I forget how to pronounce it. We get a trophy for that. I think that's a hidden trophy as well. But yeah, as you can see, Carpet is now gone. And we have. <laughs> Did... Gave us a little bit of XP, but not a lot. Answer for point eleven, <laughs> and now we get some like Final Mix exclusive ones. So we have to, yeah, we had to beat Code Cesa. So opening the door to a world's heart causes its walls to crumble. These fragments are seen as shooting stars. Kind of interesting way of looking at it. This explains why these gummy blocks can travel freely to other worlds. I know the catalyst of this collapse, the appearance of the Heartless, which makes sense considering what we've went through. However, it will take time to search out the world's doors and to reveal each heart. Furthermore, the doors can be locked using a keyblade, making the heart forever, forever unattainable. I must take action before the wielder of this key appears in this world. If the princesses and the Keyblade are connected, they should resonate. I've chosen a girl. I don't know if she holds the princess's powers, but I will find out. She may lead me to the key bearer. I shall set her free and observe. Now, chosen a girl is very interesting, and especially we've tried to work this out throughout the series in general, and we still kind of haven't got any answers to this question yet. Yet. Uh, at the time of this recording, which is uh, the 29th of September uh, in 2020, because the newest game in the franchise, Melody and Memory, is not actually out yet at the time of this recording. But Chosen Girl and Leading to the Key Bearer, very interesting concept. And considering if she, they don't know if she holds the princess's powers, one could say that Ansem was 
and who's, if we know for Kingdom Hearts 2, Xehanort, who was writing, writing these reports, just under the guise of Anthem the Wise's name, was actually experimenting on a young Kyrie. Because you remember that she was a part of Halabastion, which Ansem was the ruler of Halabastion. Or, well, you know, that, and that's true in Kingdom Hearts 2 as well. And Kyrie was originally from Halabastion as well, as we'd seen from her stories with her grandma in uh, one of the cutscenes that we've seen with Sora, with their connection being there. And uh, she finds the Keyblade Bearer in terms of <laughs> Sora, and technically Riku as well, because Riku was technically the original uh, Keyblade, uh, the chosen one for the Keyblade, who then, you know, fell into darkness, and that's why Sora got the Keyblade. Uh, at least one of the reasons why in the franchise. <laughs> There's a few other reasons why, and we, we find that further out in the series as it goes forward, but... Um, yeah, so... He's kind of set it free and observing and experimenting on Kyrie, which is kind of, you know, kind of scary, kind of a weird thing, but it's kind of a revelation now that we might see in Melody and Memory, so... Who knows? And after uh, going to the Heartless, right at the end, we have Kurt Zisa. Yeah, so Kurt Zisa is in the list. And did the next thing lose our items? Yes, it did. Okay. Because we technically had beaten that boss. So I'm going to save again. Oh, we actually did go up another level. So we actually did get a lot of uh, experience. It just didn't look like it because it looked like it was only like a thousand experience, but we got a huge amount. Let's go in the gummy ship again. And the next one is at Neverland. So if you remember back when we visited here, uh, Tinkerbell showed up. And Another interesting thing, we don't have um, the save point to the clock tower anymore. So this is a very interesting point that we have to make here. Now, I might die to this one. Uh, put that on. Put Combo Master on, because it's technically going to need that. MP Rage on for Donald, because we're going to need that. Uh, we're going to need a few. Mega Ethers. Probably one Mega Elixir. Because uh, this boss battle is going to suck. find out why in a minute. Uh, put a mega potion on that one. Uh, leave one mega potion in there. An elixir in there and another uh, mega ether. It's gonna need a lot of this stuff. So yeah, so Tinkerbell's here. Oh, that's right, we need Peter for this battle. Yeah. Um, don't you need, I'm not going to have Goofy on. Just because there's one specific reason for that. So yeah, so we're going to the clock tower. And uh, we need Peter for this battle. 
and there's a very, very important reason why. Ah, oh, I love the design of this. But this is the Phantom. This is one of the other secret bosses in the game, and actually, I think the last one that we see in the international release of the game. Okay, so now... So yeah, so we need to hit the clock tower with stop every once in a while. And the big reason for this is because the clock is actually a counter. different colors. But we have to go back to the clock every single time. Because if the clock, as you notice, there's a, there's a clock on, there's a, there's a counter on Peter's uh, head. If we're not particularly careful, that counter will count down. As you can see, the fires on uh, Now you can see the fire on the uh so yeah, so stop rod will activate for a while. But yeah, this is purely a magic battle. Like, we can hit him with physical attacks, but the, the color of the heart changes on the Phantom for all the different attacks. So yeah, so red is fire. Uh, any form of it. Probably will have uh, Faraga at this point. But yeah, that counter will keep counting down until it reaches zero, and... Um... Peter will be taken out completely through this battle. It does take a while, I will admit. This is just a this is a long game. But yeah, it's one of the things that I do not like about this battle, is that in particular it takes a long time just because you've got to, you know, the, 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 the magic doesn't do a lot of damage to the phantom. See, as you can see I was out of range for a thunder attack. But also, you got to have enough magic. Well, 
Like, the magic only does so much damage, and you've got to keep relying on the clock tower as well. Thank you, Donald, for the heroic got a rogue yet? Yes, I do. Yeah, I got that one already. I was going to say, when it comes to some things... Okay, so it's white, so we continue with a physical attack. Once he stops... Yeah, and uh, any other magic other than the color that they have is not going to matter. So yeah, so I like the concept of this battle. Like, it's kind of a cool idea. But at the same time, it kind of sucks in that regard because... Uh, you're using a lot of items, first off. Two years, uh, using gravity on the fucking clock tower instead of stop. And since stop uses two, uh, it's not. Yeah, so the Phantom has a bit of health, but not, uh, not a whole lot. A little damage, but not a whole lot. So I think I'm gonna try and get killed by. There you go. So yeah, so Peter is now down and out. Yeah, so that's the Phantom. Basically, that's that's the that's the entire battle. Honestly, that's that's the entire thing. It's long, it's drawn out, it kind of sucks. Um, you need a Keyblade with a lot of magic because if you don't, uh, you'll get into a situation where you can't do a lot with it, unfortunately. Which sucks because uh, the battle is not. Not fantastic. Oh, and I have to, I have to beat him too to have him on the, the journal, don't I? God damn it! So yeah, so that's 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 it for the the phantom. Uh, so we've got one more um, super boss to go. Like the Phantom, I like the design in, in Final Mix, I will admit. Uh, I still think the original design is still really cool. Um, but yeah, we gotta go to Hella Bastion for the last one. Although, I'm not gonna do it here. Um, because, unfortunately, we're out of time. <laughs> As you can see, the portal has opened back up for the, uh, the other room. But yeah, we're out of time today, <laughs> unfortunately. But we did show off a few things. Um, the Phantom Battle can take a while, as you can see, up down to green, so it wasn't too much more, though I have to use a lot of uh, things like uh, Mega Elixirs and stuff like that, and there's not a whole lot in the game, <laughs> which kind of sucks. So, um,. Yeah, so that battle can be drawn out for such a long time, it's very, very annoying. Um, but yeah, we got one super boss left in the game, and we finally broke that 24,000 uh, marker for, for money, which is great. Because <laughs> uh, we got stuck, as you can see, on 23,999 for quite a long time, and we didn't 
you know, we had a lot of bosses to beat, we didn't have a lot of Heartless to beat. So, uh, yeah. So, um, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching these two episodes of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. We got up to doing the time trials, showing off some of the other abilities. Uh, I haven't shown off uh, Zansen Tukin. Um, uh, yes, which uh, I'll show off in the next episode. In fact, actually, let me let me equip that on myself so I don't forget. And uh, one thing I do need for this battle is a uh, grenade because uh, that's going to be very useful. Yeah, I'm gonna save here, and uh, so we beat beat Coats Lisa, which is great because I really, really, really am happy about that. Because um, I have beaten Coats Lisa before, but this is the first time in oh geez, a long time that I've been able to do that, and I did it on Proud Mode as well, which made it even better. <laughs> uh, though it did give me a little trouble, as you can see, I almost died a couple of times. Um, though I think. Tinkerbell, summoning Tinkerbell was probably one of the best moves I did because uh, if I died I would have probably uh, had auto life come back uh, right near the end of that battle, so that's great. Uh, so we played against the Phantom, uh, went probably about three quarters of the way through the battle um, in terms of health, uh, though it would have been another probably 5, 10, 15 minutes of that with more magic as well. Um, I'm not sure if I got MP gift for Donald, so that wouldn't have helped. Uh, went against the Ice Titan, had no idea what to do, and uh, went up against Sephiroth and got blistered as well, <laughs> which is to be expected. Um, <clears throat> but next time we'll be showing off the last Super Boss and the Final X exclusive uh, Super Boss of uh, Kingdom Hearts 1. And uh, that's an interesting concept because holy shit, the connection to the next to Kingdom Hearts 2 and like the the, the games after Kingdom Hearts 1, it started with this. So uh, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching these two episodes of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, these extra episodes of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix via the Story So Far collection on the Sony PlayStation 4. This has been Mario Man 10100. You guys have a great day night, and of course, take care.